well uh, the basics of shadow price or what it is actually will be discussed in another video in this video i will just solve uh, how to compute the shadow price in this relevant question the question is states calculate the shadow or opportunity price per hour of capacity if 2000 hours are added in the capacity of department a actually the shadow price states how much your contribution is increasing per limiting factor if one of the limiting factors increases uh, solving this question it says that the hours in department a will actually increase by 2000 and an increase in 2000 hours in department a will change the corner points which we used in our previous videos to calculate the contribution maximization point so we will have new set of constraints number one x is greater than or is equals to zero this will not change number two z is greater than or is equals to zero this will not change obviously but the uh, constraint for department number a will change previously we had 14,000 hours in department number a it says that um, the hours uh, added in department a are 2000 so the constraint for department number a will now be 20x plus 32y 20x plus 32y uh, or z should be less than or is equals to the new limit is not 14000 now but it is increased to 16000 and fourth constraint is same the fourth constraint is uh, 10x 10x plus 24z 24z is less than or is equals to 9000 only this constraint has changed if i redraw the above graph i know that x is greater than or is equal to condition is this one z is greater than or is equal to condition is this one uh, constraint number four this constraint has not changed therefore its points must not change let us uh, look at our previous working where we calculated the points for that and the 10x plus 24z is less than is equal to 9000 had the point 0 comma 375 and 900 comma 0 these two points have not changed so we will have 0 comma 375 and 900 comma 0 this has had this has not changed at all these things are constant Now this uh, change in constraint will have a shift in this line. Let us first draw this line. If x is equals to 0 as discussed previously, our equation will be 32z is equals to 16,000 and z is equals to 16,000 divided by 32 which is 500. So the new corner point will be 0, 0,500 and 0, 0,500 will lie somewhere over here. And when z is 0, 20x is equals to 16,000. I have solved a bit directly, assuming that you have watched the previous videos and know how to compute this. 16,000 divided by 20 is 800. So our new point will be somewhere over here, 800. And therefore the line will be like this. Now since uh, there were additional 200, the slope of the line changes and since the slope of the line changes, this intersecting point also changes. Again we will see what are the profit maximizations. 
what is the profit maximization point we can either produce this will be our feasible return as we previously discussed we can either produce 375 units of z and 0 units of um, x we can produce at the intersection of these two points or we can now produce 800 units of x which is our point c point to note is that our contribution function is c is equal to 160x plus 360z another thing to note is that point a has not changed a says 0 units of x and 375 units of z we computed our contribution at point a previously uh, here it is 0 and 135 uh, 0 and 375 had 135000 contribution so contribution a will be still 135000 however now uh, point c and point b have changed at point number c at point number c we are saying that we should produce 800 units of x and 0 units of z which will give us a contribution of 160 into 800 plus 360 into 0 160 into 800 is 128 triple 0 and our third point which is b for b we will have to solve both the equations simultaneously first equation is 20x plus 32z is equal to 16,000 and second equation is 10x plus 24z is equal to 9,000 I am solving this hurriedly since I am assuming that you have watched the previous videos and you have got a good grip on the amounts uh, 20x is equal to 16,000 minus 32z and x is equal to if I divide 16,000 by 20 it will be 800 and if I divide 32 by 20 it will be 1.6z substituting this in uh, the second equation 10 into 800 minus 1.6z plus 24z is equal to 9,000 10 into 800 is 8000 minus 16z plus 24z is equal to 9000 9000 minus 8000 is 1000 1000 divided by the difference which is 8 will give me z is equal to 125 and if z is 125 x will be 800 minus 1.6 times of 125 and x will be 1.6 into 125 800 minus answer gives me 600 so at point B I can produce I can produce 600 units of X and 125 units of Z 600 comma 125 and at point B my contribution C will be from this contribution function contribution function has not changed 160 into 600 plus 360 into 125 this will give us 160 into 600 plus 360 into 125 which is equal to 141,000 so to conclude I can say that my new contribution will be 141,000 and previously my maximum contribution as calculated above as calculated uh, in uh, the previous video was at point B as well and which was 138,000 let me summarize it over here 138,000 and now it is 141,000 now the concept is that uh, when we had only 14,000 hours in department A when department A had 14,000 hours we were able to make a contribution of 138,000 now department A has additional 2,000 hours and now the hours available in department A are 16,000 we are able to make a contribution of 141,000 so the availability of 2,000 additional hours in department A has actually increased our contribution by 3,000 141,000 minus 138,000 is 3,000 the availability of additional 2,000 hours has increased our contribution by 3,000 
and if the fixed cost remain constant our profits will also increase by 3000 the question is stated calculate schedule or opportunity price per hour of capacity it said per hour of capacity if 2000 hours are added in the capacity of department a so the shadow price is basically the increase in contribution due to increased limiting factor resource and as it says calculated per hour we can say that the increase in contribution was 3000 resulting in increase in hours of 2000 in department a therefore the per hour increase is 1.5 which is actually 3000 increase in contribution divided by 2000 increase in the limiting resource so our answer should be 1.5 per hour this is our shadow price